Otis, where are you going this morning, buddy? You ready to start today's vlog? Say hi to everybody? No. Okay, that's fine. Check on these crosses this morning. You guys stink. I think it's time to put some new shavings down in here. <clears throat> I think they've tripled in size since they've come. Look how big they are. Good morning. You got something on your nose. Some mud or something. You gonna come and say hi? Mr. Man. Hi. Good morning, Miss Molly. How are you? How are all your little piglets? We ended up losing that little guy, unfortunately. We don't know what was wrong. He just passed away out here. But I was able to save the black one, so he's doing a lot better. The vlog is all about you today. It's all about what you do around here. You... Hi, when you put your collar on this morning. Got your e-collar on. So this just helps her listen a little better and we can correct her if she decides to chase chickens because she has a very strong drive for the chicken. Hi, how are you? So I haven't done the collar in a little while, so we're just gonna run over to the command. Sadie, come. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Sit. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good job. So this morning we'll just do the chores with Sadie. You're doing so good, sweetheart. We'll go see the piglets. Go see the piglets. You see how she checks in with me to make sure that I'm okay with her going? Over here? Good. Good job. Good girl. Molly has decided to wedge herself in that corner to cool off. It's going to be really hot today. And all these piglets just are upset. They want to lay with her. But she has like made her own little mommy nest there. Like that's her, that's mommy's time by herself. Good girl. Hey Sadie, let's go get some food. Let's go get some food for Tinkerbell and her piglets, okay? Listen, I need you to listen to me, all right? There's an electric fence up here. We don't want you to get shocked, okay? You don't, want get, you don't want to get shocked, huh? Yeah, and it's down low, all right? So you gotta be very, very, very careful, all right? You little guys need any more water? Or are you guys all done with water? A little bit more? A little bit more, huh? Is that it for you guys? Yeah, okay. All right, let's go turn off the hose, Sadie, come on. Yeah. 
Yeah. No eggs. Oh, on. Oh, are you eating eggs? Just don't do that, okay? Here, sweetie. That's about it right now. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. Have to get an egg basket for those. Yeah. So now we get to do my favorite part. Pull the hose up from where the cows are. So we gotta pull it all the way back up. Time lapse time? Let's do this. Not die. At some point, the camera overheated. It's probably 85, 90 degrees out right now. So this black camera is sitting right in the sun for about 10 minutes while we moved that hose and turned it on. Just didn't fare well with it. But we're back. We waited, huh? We just got all of it done. Yeah. So now we're gonna water these guys. Can you sit for me? Good. So that's the last animal for the morning, but we got a couple exciting things to talk about, which I don't think I've even pointed this out yet in a vlog. Hi! I have a couple times and then I just always forget to put the footage in. But this is the chicken coop. I will try my best to pull up some old footage so I'll remind you what it looked like. We moved it because we realized once we got these walls up we weren't going to be able to fit it out because of those trees in the building in the way. So we just brought it out and put all the walls up. So the only things that have to be done are a man door for people put on here, chicken door, we're gonna build a ramp and some steps. And then we're gonna build our own nesting boxes and some roosting bars for the chickens. And then, I don't know if you guys can see it even up there. It says knobs only, it's from my great grandfather's uh, I don't even know what to call it. His building where he sold, like, furniture, like lawn furniture and, uh, and doorknobs <laughs> and doors and all kinds of stuff. Right now we're actually um, renovating it for my aunt for her dog training, which is also who helped me train Sadie up so that she's a perfect doggo now. Yeah, <laughs> so we were able to get that to put that in my chicken coop. Other cool things on this coop are, we got all this wood very cheap from a friend, but we had to get this one piece of wood from Home Depot, and this is when wood was really, really, really expensive. This piece of wood you see right now, just this piece, was more expensive than that and screws for this entire thing were more expensive than every p every two by four and every two by ten in this chicken coop. And then uh, the bottom, like this is from the Model T, which I think I've already pointed out, but it's super awesome. I love this thing. I've been trying to get some footage of it, but I'll go over and see my camera has died. Like three hours of working on it and only got like 45 to an hour of four, 45 minutes to an hour of footage, which is okay. Now we sit on the porch with Sadie. Now that all the chores are done, watch the cows. You can see how the grass is starting to come back over here. 
Oh, don't back off the porch, sweetheart. But you can see they're gonna go down the line throughout there. The sow down there, uh, the farm that we sold her to, they picked her up last night, and she is definitely going to be very, very happy. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> I'm really proud of how good Sadie did this morning with the chickens. I never even saw her touch a chicken. And with the cow, she didn't try and trace the cows. So I'm really proud of her. And we're definitely gonna be doing more tours with her. And um, I know some farms who every morning he just gets his livestock guardian dog out and does this every morning. So that's maybe what we'll start doing. Maybe we'll just get you out every morning and come and do tours with us. But you know, I have I have to say one thing that Sadie has taught me this morning is that some mornings the chores are fairly rushed. Whether it's because I have to edit, we have to go do something off farm, it's a hot day, I don't wanna be out there very long, but sometimes you just gotta go slow, and go calm, be calm, and just take time and be with the animals. Because everybody's trying to do everything fast in life, but sometimes you just gotta do the chores slow, and have some fun with them. Those took me a little bit longer because I had to take Sadie with me and I had to go and get her because she decided to go down in the field and couldn't hear me calling her. So I had to go get her, tell her it was time to come back and help me with the chores. So sometimes it will take a little longer with Sadie, but before we know it, she will be out all the time. But I do have a lot of people ask me, what is, what is Sadie's job around here? So, Sadie lives in an area where she's at with my, my older golden retriever, Sugar, who's 14. And uh, they're in there when we can't be out here and watch them. And it's been harder to be able to get her out because she was chasing chickens, but with the training, she is, she's doing, as you saw today, a lot better. But our goal is that in the future, she can be out roaming around here, She'll just be free and she can, she can go and do this. So we do have the boundary trainer, but this is part of it, just being out and being able to be with the animals. And she is over there by the chickens, so she guards the chickens at night. I'll hear her bark, keep away the coyotes. And since we've, and since we've moved her out, Sadie, down to where the chickens are, we haven't had one predator attack. We haven't lost a singular chicken. So Sadie is definitely doing her job and she's doing a really good job at it. But she does enjoy just getting to come and be with me to do the chores. So we're definitely going to be doing this more. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog and uh, gotten to see how Sadie is and how she's doing. Sadie back so she can go get some water and relax because she has had a very strenuous morning running all around the farm. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some water too and go edit this so the people can see you, okay? Can you say bye?